I know I can't be the only one who has seen this stunning makeup look and wanted to recreate it. And that's why I'm here. Today I'm going to teach you step by step how to do this look for makeup beginners. It's gonna be broken down and easy to understand, let's go. The first thing you wanna do, and trust me, this goes such a long way, just pin your hair back. One thing that's very prevalent about this makeup look is that it's glowy, and so we need a glowing base. To achieve that, use something like the Waleda Skin Food. You wanna use a thick moisturizer because that's what's gonna allow your makeup to sit really nicely and to keep your skin glowing. Next, you wanna use a skin illuminator. A product like this is a secret to a glowing base, so be pretty generous because this is gonna sit under your foundation. And always remember to put a little line under your eyes, this makes the biggest difference. Don't blend it in with your hands, blend it in with the foundation brush. This is gonna keep that sheer coverage that it provides, but also it's gonna keep that dewiness, which is what we really want. Now we're moving on to the foundation. As you can see, it's pretty medium coverage. Use something like Fenty or NARS to help you achieve that finish. Run it all over your face like this and then just blend it in. And this is going to give you that coverage, but it's not going to look too cakey and it's going to end up looking pretty natural. And then just for fun, I'm adding a little bit of this NARS foundation to give me that glowing finish. Never forget to blend the chin. This is such an underrated part of your makeup routine, but it's going to make all the difference. For concealer, you can see that there's a pretty bright under eye, and so we're going to recreate that. But to recreate this, I recommend grabbing a full coverage concealer like the e.l.f. Camo Concealer and then mix it with an illuminating concealer. So this is the e.l.f. Brightening Concealer, and this is actually mixed with highlighter. And this is going to allow us to get that glowing but full coverage finish. Apply a tiny amount of the full coverage concealer. You can use any one that you have. And just apply it under your eyes, nowhere else. Now this is the brightening concealer and you're gonna be a lot more generous with where you apply this. Apply around your nose, on your chin, your forehead, basically anywhere you wanna brighten it up, but don't need that full coverage. We're gonna blend the eyes last, okay? So keep that in your mind. First, just start out around your nose, blend in your chin, and I recommend using a powder puff. Now it's time for the eyes. Now when it comes to the eyes, we're gonna keep it super bright, just like the photos. So you're gonna just gently pat under your eye until it's all blended out, but you also wanna make sure that you're kind of just hitting this corner right here so it looks really covered. Like, look at that difference. It instantly brightened it up before, after. Isn't that shocking? Look at that. So the mixing those two concealers looks so good. Now we're gonna do brows, and I noticed that there's nothing super intense happening here. It's all pretty natural, so we're just gonna fill them in. Grab a brow pencil. This is by Benefit. You just want to shape it and get the shape a little bit sharper and so what i like to do is you just go from the base and you do a line and that kind of just allows it to look a little bit more neater and presentable and then you're just going to comb whatever you have left to blend it in you can kind of see how that line is just making things look a lot cleaner and it's a really simple way to kind of just elevate your makeup i'll see you in part two for blush bronzer etc